The K1 final about to get underway. The very first K1 tournament in Britain. And reaching the final, Matt Skelton and Ricky Nicholson. And we are looking forward to this, Dean Twist. Oh, excellent. This is going to be a final to remember, Tom. They're both going to go at each other, I believe, from the, from the bell. Matt Skelton, man with a mission. He's the only one of the eight fighters who've been on show tonight with a K1 Corporation contract. He's got two fights to go. He needs another contract. And he has to win this, really, to impress. Yeah, he does. And I think Ricky Nielsen will feel his weight and his power of, uh, of Matt Skelton in this. It'll be a different fight for Ricky. The winner, as well as taking the money, goes to Japan to fight. And Matt Skelton already imposing himself. He's already already landing those uppercuts again, Tom. Which, That's his favourite, isn't it? And they get through. A lot of damage. Oh, a little bit. The time out here. Problem here. Groin. Yeah, he lifted his knee. He'll be OK. He's not making too much of a fuss. I think he's just... Yeah, you know, he just wants a little to time to get himself together. Yeah. It's within the rules. You use them. Mal Skelton wants to get it on again. Telling him now, watch that knee. Oh, awesome man again. Matt Skelton coming forward. He's still changing stance, Ricky. Yes. He's in his right stance and now he's left again. They're both knees. He's just so stars. powerful, Skelton, isn't he? He is. He ties you up. He's, he's, he just pulls you down with force. And that uppercut, boy, that gets through. You're in trouble. Nich Nicholson's dangerous, though, with those spinning techniques, so Matt's got to yep. be careful. He gets through again with the uppercut. But he looks like, to me, Skelton has already wants to get him in tight. Doesn't want him... Oh, he's getting through with some great shots, Skelton. He was in real trouble then for a moment. Yeah, that was good work from Skelton. Some good kneeing techniques. He's keeping him close. He's not allowing him to get the distance needed for those spinning back kicks that you were talking about. Nicholson's covering up now, Tom. I, I yeah. think he knows the power of Skelton. Well, to be fair, you only have to be at once and you realise, don't you? That's right. Those uppercuts are excellent. Straight through the guard. His corner telling him to kick, to use the... Legs to work on, Skelton's legs. And it's a good shout, really, because he, you've got to take his mind off what he's trying to do, and that's punch your lights out. Exactly. Yeah, that's better. That's better from Ricky Nicholson. He does love that uppercut, doesn't he, yeah. Skelton? Oh, good kick. And Nicholson's guard is low. Matt Skelton's guard is high. Big club in good, right hand. And a kick. Yeah. To be fair, Nicholson's looked quality all the way to the final yeah. and now is in trouble against yeah. the best on show. He's pushing him around like a rag doll, Tom. Yeah. And there is no real substitute for strength and power, is there? Oh, no. And if you can match strength and power with technique, oh, he's in trouble now. He's in trouble, Nicholson's Tom. in big trouble. He's worked the legs and the uppercuts. He can't get away from him. He follows him in, clubbing right hand, left hand. Oh, the bell's... A little Nicholson's bit of blood coming from his trouble. mouth there. Yeah. Nicholson, the bell came at the right moment for him. A little look. Take at... some work to get him geared up. Oh, his nose has now. gone as well, look. His nose has gone and he's around behind. He's in pain. How do you get off the stool? Well, his corner is going to have to work hard on him now. They've got to give him confidence and tell him to believe in himself. But Skelton's power, once you've been it, Tom, it, it just sends your brain, it scrambles you. We've talked about it all night about this ability not just to hit with power but to have the combinations he hits you with a right then the uppercut then the leg and you don't know where the next one's coming from no you're concentrating on being hit once and he's hitting you two or three times and to be fair skelton you know throughout this whole event there's not a mark on him no and he's left people with noses blooded and all sorts yeah. not a mark on him power and strength power strength and good technique yeah and speed tom for such yes, a big guy for a said. big guy exactly right Quick hands for a big guy. Matt Skelton's up for this fight. Well, he's a man with a mission. We said that already. And we said before he started that we made him favourite. Yes, oh, right. good shot from Nicholson. Hey, that's good a good shot. shot. 
But he's laughing yeah, at him. I think all he's done is got got skeleton uh, royal. Sometimes that oh good kick to the leg. Now he has got him annoyed. That was a good shot from it was an Nicholson. excellent shot. Sometimes when you hit though and you smile, you're actually hurting you're, actually you're trying to let your time. opponent know you're not. Oh, Psychological. Definitely. definitely. Or oh, clubbing right hand again. And if he ducks into them uppercuts and a good kick. And another club. See, even when he's been hit, Skelton, he comes back with another. That's probably give Nicholson a bit of confidence though, Tom. Yes, it gives you the lift, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. He knows he can be hit and he knows he can open him up. To me, all he's done is annoyed Matt. Oh, oh dear. Good night. It's good night, Tom. Good night, There's Vienna. No way. He might not. It's gone. I, I think, they, to be fair, they could count to 20. Yeah, and the he's oxygen's out, in. Out for the count. We have a K1 champion, and it's Matt Skelton who ends Ricky Nicholson's interest with a devastating punch that has knocked him clean out. He didn't even see the punch, Tom. He's out cold. It was a cracking punch, fast right hand. To be fair, I think Ricky would have to watch the video to see where he came from because he didn't see it then. Oh, no, Luckily, definitely. the lad's on his feet, which is great to see. He's on his feet. He's just getting up. But what a great punch. Excellent punch. Just a precaution there with the oxygen. Yeah. They're just looking after him. He's up, as you say. He's OK. Head and shoulders, though, Matt Skelton. I think we've seen that, Dean, tonight. Head and shoulders. It and he's good. the K1 champion. The first ever K1 tournament in Great Britain. And Matt Skelton, the man with a K1 contract, fights in Japan, and he showed, really, that tonight is a class apart. Yeah, definitely, Tom. As you say, we picked him from the beginning. He's such a big guy, he's heavy, he's fast, and he's got beautiful techniques. And to be fair, Ricky Nicholson stood out amongst the others, so it shows you the golfing class. Yeah, another stuff up above. Nicky just having a little laugh there, saying, you know, I didn't see it coming, but what a shot, excellent. Well, to be fair, if he'd have seen it coming, he'd probably got out of the way. I would have, <laughs> I would have thought. Definitely. <laughs> but excellent stuff. And Matt Skelton, a worthy champion, I think it's fair to say. I think so. Very good. Very good champion. But overall, I think we've seen enough of K1 now with his first ever event to, th to, to probably suggest that it's going to be a huge sport here. It's going to be a huge success, Tom. I mean, it's such a, a devastating sport. It, it's brilliant to watch. And the, the, the crowd are behind you all the time. And it's been a big crowd here tonight and they've enjoyed every minute of it. So we will not have your boy make any of the announcements tonight. Welcome to the ring, the managing director of the K1 Corporation from Japan, Mr. Ken Imai, to the ring. A round of applause, please. This event is being filmed for the occasion. So at this point, ladies and gentlemen, after 1 minute 17 seconds of the second round, a win by KO, the K1 King of Kings is So ladies and gentlemen, at this point, the winner naturally will be going over to the Tokyo Dome. But before we make all the presentations, we need to honor all those who took part in this, the K1 UK event. So if they're ready to enter back into ringside, let us welcome those that are here. Mark Russell from Manchester. Sean Johnson from Wigan. John Wyatt from Kidderminster.